We all know our taste buds have been going global for years, but is our native tongue keeping pace with our changing tastes? With new foods like quinoa, prosciutto and some older favourites like tzatziki filling our cupboards, research from Co-op Foods' national pronunciation test proves that we are getting our fill. But the likelihood is we might be saying it wrong. Tak, 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 tatsiki, tat, yeah? Quinoa, quinoa. Quinoa. Prosciutto. Dr. Catherine Sangster is Head of Pronunciations at the Oxford English Dictionary. She's spent years studying why we say things the way we do and how common mispronunciations can arise when new foods appear on the shelves. There are all kinds of food words that get mispronounced. Often they're loan words from languages that we're not familiar with or perhaps we don't know which language it is that it comes from. Generally people mispronounce something when they've seen it written down but not heard it spoken. When we borrow a word into English from another language, we don't necessarily borrow it with all of the sounds that are there, um, either because we don't have those sounds in English or because things get anglicised to a greater or a lesser degree. Chorizo? 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 Something like chorizo is fairly well established now in English as an anglicised word. Now that's not how it sounds in Spanish. The, the Z letter in Spanish is pronounced either like a S or like a th, depending on which part of the Spanish-speaking world you're coming from. Pros, prosciutto? Prosciutto. Prosciutto, it's got this cluster of S, C in the middle, which makes often people think there should be a sk sound in there. But the I that comes after the C softens the S, C to be a sh sound, not a sk sound. So it's prosciutto. Food word faux pas can cause embarrassment. 27% of us have blushed at having mispronounced a food item during romantic meals, holidays or even when meeting the in-laws. I would hope it's not too embarrassing to mispronounce anything anyway and we don't necessarily recommend one single pronunciation so it might be that there's more than one way of saying something and they would both be regarded as accurate. Dictionaries aren't in the business of prescribing, you know, this is the one true way to say something. We try to reflect language as it's being used and just as when new words come into the language the dictionaries will reflect them and, and describe them. If you're interested in a food, find out a bit about the culture and the language that it comes from and that will probably steer you towards a pronunciation that's more authentic. Um, otherwise, uh, you look it up in a dictionary. Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers probably had it right back in 1937. And this really is a case of you say quinoa, I say quinoa. Oh, let's call the whole thing off.